Hello, this is Malcolm Bowden. I'd like to speak to you on the subject of the relationships between the Earth and the Moon and the Sun, the planets and their moons going round the planets and the stars. Now, some critics of geocentrism make the statement that they can prove that geocentrism is wrong by simply looking at the phases of either the Moon or the phases on the planets or their moons going round them, whatever it may be. In fact, this is quite wrong. You cannot tell whether the Earth is the centre of the planetary system and, and the universe, or whether all the planets, including the Earth, are rotating around the Sun. You cannot do it by simple examination of the uh, phases of the shadows that are cast by the Sun on the different planets and moons. Here is a very simple drawing of the planetary system looking at it from above our North Pole. It's the standard heliocentric model with all the planets going around the Sun with the Earth also. The Earth is spinning on its axis vertically and also going around anti-clockwise as it slowly travels around the Sun. It's a very diagrammatic model because I've just shown with two planets on the interior which are going around quite a lot faster than the Earth around the Sun and the outer planets which move very slowly because of their distance away from the Sun as they go around and orbit the Sun. Now this is a, the fairly standard model and you can see that um, we've not changed anything from the normal what is known as the heliocentric model of the planetary system. Now many years ago they used to make and I think they may still make them, mechanical models of the planetary system in which they would put the Sun on a pedestal and with long arms coming out from that central pedestal they would have the different planets at different distances from the Sun. And those long arms would rotate very slowly, each one, the near ones rotating faster and the outer ones rotating slower. And from each of those planets, which are on the ends of the arms, would be a very small ball representing the moon or moons that are going around that particular planet. And that is the system that most people accept today as being the heliocentric model. And these mechanical contrivances would be working um, and showing the relationship between the planets and the sun. And they are called orreries. Now, they have been manufactured for many, many years and they were quite useful models in order for people to understand the planetary system. Now, if we look at one of these orreries, and I've changed the diagram so that we imagine that the Sun is now sitting on an orrery and the planets are going round it. You can see that if you imagine that the arms are going from the uh, central Sun out to the different planets, the whole lot is rotating slowly at different rates depending upon how near the planet is to the Sun. And our Moon is going round the Earth also and the Earth is spinning on its axis once every 24 hours as it slowly goes round the Sun once every year. Now that is the normal orrery. Now as the Earth is spinning on its axis once every 24 hours I want you to imagine that we reach out and we pick the whole thing up from the uh, base of the orrery and we hold on to the earth rigidly. The mechanism is still working and all the planets are still going round relative to the sun in the same way. But now, because we've picked up the earth and holding it steady, where before the earth was spinning at 24, once every 24 hours, now because we're holding it steady, the whole of the orrery in the planetary system that is connected by the arms is now going to rotate clockwise around the Earth once every 24 hours. And you will notice that the arrangement and all the relationships are exactly the same as they were when the Sun was the centre of the orrery because the me mechanism is still working and still keeping everything in the same relationship to each other but the whole lot is now spinning around the Earth 
instead of being centered on the sun. And therefore, you cannot tell whether the Earth is the center or the sun is the center of the planetary system simply by making observations because all the relationships are the same all the way through. In each model there is no change in phases of moons or planets or anything like that. We can show that another way as well. We can take uh, a simple plan again that we had at the beginning and just simply rotate it around the Sun as normal. This is the heliocentric version as it all slowly rotates around the Sun. But then if we uh, now make the center of the Earth, the center of the planetary system, it will all rotate round clockwise 24 hours, once every 24 hours. And that um, gives you again the same sort of uh, relationships between the planets and the Sun and the stars and the moons to the Earth as it was before. We are just simply changing the center of rotation. And so you see, in summary, when heliocentrists and critics of geocentrism say that you can tell uh, from the observation of the planets and the moons and the stars and their phases that therefore geocentricity must be wrong, they themselves are quite wrong because you cannot tell which is the center, the Earth or the Sun at all. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you for listening.